Entrepreneurs are at the economic heart of Irish society. They conceive creative products and services. They create employment, wealth and are big contributors to the National Exchequer. They're not always running multinational companies, but are people who've chosen to work for themselves and have a lifestyle which is independent of employment. They have become applauded in Irish society, as their passion, inspiration and hard work are celebrated in programmes like the Ernest & Young Entrepreneur of the Year and Dragon's Den. There is no clear formula to becoming an entrepreneur, except perhaps inspiration and competence, but there are learned skills that help make the process a little less risky. Most entrepreneurs enjoy a challenge. These are the people who say, why not? And often end up changing the way we do things in our everyday lives. It's natural that we would want to nurture this spirit in our young people. And what better place to start than in primary school, long before exam pressures have begun. As part of the Junior Entrepreneur Program, 1,500 pupils of primary schools in County Kerry and Limerick have already become entrepreneurs in 5th and 6th class. It's just a start, but they've gone through just the same process as some of the world's most famous entrepreneurs. They create an idea, they pitch it, then they've got to do the hard work, researching what customers really want. They figure out what they're good at and try to use those skills to play their part in a team. All along the way, they've got the support of their school friends, teachers and family. third year that we've taken part in the Junior Entrepreneur Programme and I suppose from other years I've seen that the, the benefits of it to the children and they love taking part in it. Um, it's integrated in a lot of the subjects but this year is a board game so um, they've incorporated history and geography questions in it um, also maths problems and they've brought in even uh, PE exercises there's an activity part to the game as well. We've been covering the Junior Entrepreneur Programme since its uh, inception three or four years ago and as, as a community newspaper we saw immediately that it does have significant benefit for, from our own point of view to be covering uh, something that is so deeply entrenched in, in local communities. Kerry's Eye would see the, the Junior Entrepreneur Programme, ask any of our reporters, as a very, very valuable source of stories. Um, the children, uh, as you can see, uh, come up with incredible, incredible business ideas because maybe they think differently as adults. So from a journalist's point of view, it's a great source of stories. It fills the paper with wonderful, wonderful images of children. And as I said, the kids' ideas are great. Maybe it's something we could all learn from. Um, first, we got a letter to our school, and then we started coming up with ideas by ourselves. And then we went into the group stages, and we had the Dragon's Den. And then the Dragon's Den picked the board game, and that's how we got the board game idea. I really would recommend this to other schools because it improves your confidence, your maths, your English and teamwork. To start, I barely even knew what an entrepreneur was, so I've learned so much and I've learned about how entrepreneurs work. From Radio Kerry's point of view, we're very proud to be involved in it. It's a very positive initiative, but also we get great content from it. It's a community initiative in a situation where there's so much doom and gloom. It's such a positive story. It's empowering, you know, this energy off it. Um, from our point of view, it like crosses generations because when we're talking to the kids involved, obviously their grandparents, their neighbours, their friends are all listening in. I think it's a great way for children of all you know ages throughout the school, but particularly you know in sixth class when they're about to move into secondary, they're about to look at subjects choices and stuff like that they get to know business leaders in their own community on a first name basis and how unique is that you know if they're looking for work experience or mentoring further on in in their life our teacher was really interested in it and she thought it was a good aim for us that we learn about the real business world and that we're not just in our own little bubble I really enjoyed the Junior Entrepreneur Programme. It was um, really fun and it was um, it really kind of helped learn cooperation skills and it, I loved the way it turned out and with the launch party and everybody there and how many books and the amount of books that were sold. We divided the children 
into to groups. They selected groups if they'd like to go into marketing, um, if they'd like to go into design. They know the skills that they have themselves. And it's amazing, you can see natural leaders immediately emerging within a group setting. They're, they were fantastic. Um, the roles that they took, the group work is fantastic. You will try to, to encourage group work in an English class and in a maths class, but this program just absolutely, it, it just set up natural groups and the children just embraced it. They, they realised the talents that they had and you know some of them wouldn't have even realise that they were so talented and that completely came to the fore. It was fantastic. I would recommend it to everybody. We've done it two years in a row and I think the fifth class now are very anxious, already thinking what can we do next year. The Junior Entrepreneur Programme, or JEP as it's known, was created to allow every primary school pupil in Ireland to embrace entrepreneurship as part of their formative education. Entrepreneurship isn't on the national curriculum, but almost everything that's included in the JEP programme is. The curriculum for JEP has been produced in collaboration with Ireland's leading primary school teacher training institution, Mary Immaculate College. Through the JEP curriculum, games and learning aids, pupils get a clear picture of what creating a business involves, and every step mirrors strands in the primary school education system. The programme works closely with the local community, involving local entrepreneurs who share their story and that of their business with the pupils, their own personal dragon. The reason I've decided to get involved in the Junior Entrepreneur of the Year programme is threefold. First of all, it is to help encourage kids to get involved in business at a very early stage and see what it's all about. Second of all, from a corporate social responsibility perspective, our company is always looking out for good opportunity and this for me is one of the best that we will come across. And finally, from a marketing perspective, it's a great opportunity to market our brands. Pupils are given the chance to invest a token amount of money in the business, with a view to getting it back with profit to understand the real impact of risk and reward. When they're investing their own hard-earned few euros, they want to make sure they get it back, hopefully with profit, like grown-up entrepreneurs. And it all comes together at Showcase Day. That's when family, the rest of the school and community get a chance to see the results of all the hard work they've done in JEP. And the pupils graduate from their first step on the road to a future in entrepreneurship with the help, advice and influence of some of Ireland's leading entrepreneurs. The honour of JEP or JEP winning school for 2013 went to Ardford Central National School. Huge congratulations to Ardfert on winning the Junior Entrepreneur Programme Award. Be part of Ireland's future now.